The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Havan Mubatavan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Lend me your eyes. <laughs> 
كان الغبار فظيعا في الخارج في جوار نهر بن حيث أقصد يشكل الرمل أكبر جزء هوية لا يشكل تهديدا إنه قد يرسل إلى جيوشنا هدايا من الأموال أو الأسلحة لكنه مشغول بتأمين أراضي باسم لايا should have known you would be here Kong you know me come let us chat I do have something to ask of you do you have any information about the treasurer Someone who works for the Khilafah. The treasure? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat Al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kakh, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. <laughs> Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my wares, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. I assume you heard about the commotion a few stores down. Do not tell me it's Kong and Luca again. Oh, not them this time. Another pair of traders fighting to get a stall near the auction. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. Not something we can rush, yes, Aedati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the hard <coughs> holding our supplies, production has been slow, yes, Aridati. Certain incidents there have also made our situation <coughs> difficult. And Kufa Zalika, you have can. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood. I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. 
I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, Ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the east. The auction should be starting soon. مرحباً السلام عليكم ياساس نيحاو هلو It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning to listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, mm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Uh, two. Any others? Hmm. We have a hmm. third there. Who? Oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Sold to the man over there. Kindly collect your item from my associate after the auction. Now, moving on. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. I have to get the hairpin from that man. Why would the treasurer want it her? so badly? Her calmness, her grace, like a long shiny star against the dark. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. 
My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summit! Found him. Now to quietly oh, borrow the hairpin. Intricate Malaka. and beautiful indeed. Where is it? This beautiful hairpin this is, is mine. nothing like these but ancient for, objects the Order is seeking. But I must confront Ning. Ah, oh, to have the chance to see that again when I present her with this gift. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild! Look! See? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time! Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karg. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. Save my backside too many times to count.
What do you see, Enkidu? An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. <clears throat> the Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. No fear. So if trouble comes our way, we'll be ready. Hold on. This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may it. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. I swear it. Treasurer, Ning, if only you... Go. Lead the bar. Forget the plague out of my sight. Perhaps the dogs and the cook can use it for their meal. The standards are too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter.
You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau. The treasurer! She's dead! The guards! Help! Did someone kill the treasurer! There you are! Stop! Knock arrows! Plug me in here!
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity harsh. Now the upper echelons of Afdu and Louts are soiling their silk robe. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet.
Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. This must be the oasis Nihal had in mind. What is this? A note? Yes. Oh. Leave. It was your time. It seems the members of the Tha'abin have already unearthed the shards. I should keep an eye out for them. Where this leads. Magic is this. Surely there is a way to diminish it. Excellent. The shards work. Perhaps I can use some more.
men dressed as women were dancing and spilled out <laughs> What do you see? There, one of the Thabin members. I should investigate. child looks like he has gotten himself into a tricky situation. The boy is quite a climber. If you come closer, I will jump. Mm. My name is Basim. And I climbed up here without thinking it through. Do you think you could help me get down? <sighs> when I was your age, I did all kinds of foolish things to impress my friends. I did not do it for them. I did it for the Hidden Ones. Ah, 
The hidden ones. Not everyone believes in them, but I do. They're the true protectors of the people. They were the ones who avenged my mother. Not the Khalifa or his men. The hidden ones did that. I see. And you thought this would get their attention, climbing up here. I heard they can die from great heights and not get hurt. But I cannot do something unless I see someone else do it first. Do you think you could do it if I showed you? I cannot! Yes, you can! Do not overthink it! You simply need to have faith! Oh! I am fine. Give me a second. Are you hurt? No. Nothing broken. You are a fast learner. I told you, I can do anything if only someone shows me first. That is a valuable talent. Be sure to have a good teacher next time you try something risky like that. You could teach me. <laughs> I am no teacher. I still have much to learn. No, you are a good teacher. You teach by example. Are, are you... Seek me out when your voice begins to break. Then we will talk. <laughs> Before the Muezzin catches us! I am coming! your gaze, Enkidu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 